Have you heard of the mutiny on the bounty? This is a true but legendary story about a captain and 12 of his most loyal men cast away from their ship, the bounty. They were basically handing out a slow death sentence to Blythe and his remaining crew. So the mutiny on the bounty happened on the 28th of April, 1789. Captain and 12 of his most loyal men cast away from their ship, the bounty, on a small schooner. And it's the tale of their incredible survival in a small boat in extreme conditions over thousands of miles until they reached safety. Captain William Blythe, was supposedly quite an oppressive captain. He actually uh, suffered three mutinies during his career, but this one was headed by his first officer, Fletcher Christian. Christian and his co-conspirators set adrift Blythe and 18 of his loyal men in an overcrowded 23-foot schooner. They were basically handing out a slow death sentence to Blythe and his remaining crew. Blythe and his men were not expected to survive and yet they managed a 3,600 mile journey turning up in Timor in the West Indies on the 14th of June. Once Blythe got back to England he set sail again for Tahiti to finish the job that he was in the middle of when the mutiny happened which was delivering breadfruit trees to the West Indies. Christian and his co-conspirators tried to set up colonies on uninhabited islands. After a few attempts Many settled on Pitcairn Island, an inhabited volcanic island. Those who had remained on Tahiti had been arrested, taken back to England and hung for treason. In 1808, an American whaling vessel noticed smoke coming from the supposedly uninhabited Pitcairn Island. On investigation, they found a colony of people there, it being headed up by a man called John Adams, the sole survivor by this point of Christian and his conspirators from the bounty. In 1825, Adams was granted amnesty and he served as the patriarch of the colony until his death in 1829. 